Hey, I am back. Sorry for the delay, I have been working on a music video. So today, we are going to make this. So, let's jump right into it. First step is to open After Effects. Make a new composition, and add a new solid. This solid will be, our background layer for the text animation. I am keeping with a dark background, but you are free to use your own color. Now, we are going to add straight shape line. I am using pen tool instead of a shape. Make sure you have not selected background layer. Draw a straight line by pressing shift key in your keyboard. And make sure your stroke is on for the shape layer. You can move this shape layer where you like. But for this tutorial I am going to put this on middle. It's time to animate this. Open your shape layer, and select add. From the list, select trim paths. This trim path will be using for animating this shape stroke. We can animate this stroke like this. For this, I am using end section to animate. Add keyframe to end from 0 to 100, with some, time distance. And your animation will be like this. I am making motion more smooth. Open graph editor and select both keyframes. And then, easy ease them. You can make motion more smooth, by chaining in this graph like this. This animation is slow, but you can speed up, by decreasing the distance between these keyframes. Perfect now. Duplicate this shape layer. Go to file and select duplicate. Select both layer and press P to open position. I am adding keyframes to the position, to make these lines going apart from each other. Like this. And by the way, thanks for the 2672 subscribers. Select these keyframes, and easy ease them. Shortcut is F9. Now, I am adding text. Select text tool and start typing your text. You can download these free fonts from the link is in the description. Adjust text like you want. Meanwhile, you can subscribe my channel for more upcoming tutorials. I am uploading a new tutorial in every week. Make sure your text fit inside these lines. And have some margin from the top and the bottom. It's time to animate this text. 
Make another rectangle shape with black color. And start drawing over this text. Make sure to cover all your text. Also, remove its stroke. Open this text layer and click on transform. Click on this link icon so you can scale height only. Add keyframe to this scale. Scale it from 0 to 100. Like I am doing here. Also, arrange your timing, so it can match to the animation of these lines. Don't forget to easy ease them as well. Click on toggle switches mode, and this will give you another tab. Click here and select alpha match shape layer 3. Did you see the magic? If your text is visible from above these line you can decrease the speed of this rectangle shape. And it will fix your problem. So this is our text animation. Select all these layers and pre-compose them. It's time to add our logo. Make a new solid for the background. Select any color you want. Don't worry we will be adding gradient to this layer. Put this behind the text animation layer, and hide the text layer for a while. Add your logo. Also, select these layers and pre-compose them as well. Open this composition. And you can scale your logo at any size you want. Go to effects, and search for color gradient. Add this effect to the background layer. We are making a cool background. Please see what I am doing here. It's looking cool to me. Unhide text layer. Go to effects and add a CC grid wipe effect. This is going to our transition effect for revealing our logo. Change border to 100 and tiles to 25. Add keyframe to the completion, where you want to start the transition. This is our final effect.
pre-compose the text layers only so you can move them. You can align them in center. Let's add zoom out effect to our logo, so it will not look static. We made this again, 